हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री वन मिनिमम मूव्स टू इक्वल अरे एलिमेंट्स सो इफ यू कैन सी लाइक गिवन अ नॉन एम्प्टी इंटीजर अर ऑफ साइज एंड फाइंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ मूव्स रिक्वायर्ड टू मीट ऑल अरे एलिमेंट्स एज इक्वल वेयर अ मूव इज इंक्रीमेंटेड एन माइनस वन एलिमेंट्स बाय वन टाइम सो वट डे सी सो इफ यू हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर अरे In this particular array, you have to increase uh, n minus one elements by one value, except except the any number you can uh, omit for that particular one. You can omit any number. Once you omit that number, you have to increase all the rest of the numbers by one unit. So if we see in this example, one is incremented to two. Two is incremented to three, and three is left. So this is not changed. Now two three three is the output. Now what we are doing? We are incremented three, two to three, and three to four, but still we are not touching this one. Three three value. So this value we are not touching, and at the end of the one we are not touching this particular value, and we are incrementing these two values. so at each iteration so this is the first iteration in this iteration we didn't touch this number in the second iteration we didn't touch this number in the third iteration we didn't touch this particular number okay so it's a pretty straight forward how the particular output they want to calculate us so if we see 1 2 3 was the input and we incremented the 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 but we didn't change any value for 3 now in this one we incremented 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 3 we are not changing and the fourth one fourth iteration uh this is the third iteration we are changing 3 to 4 we are not touching the second element and we are changing this one so in this one what we have to tell how many number of times we have to increment one element for n minus we have to increment by one for n minus one elements in the array how many times we have to do so this is the output so we can see three times we are doing we are incrementing plus one here plus one here and we are not changing any value for this particular value for the three so if we can see from the language of the question it's a mathematical question so we have to use some kind of maths to solve this particular question we have to come up with some kind of formula to solve it so let's try to deduce it from our observations so if you notice this is the minimum value and we have incremented this value by 3 times to reach the final value so that's how we reached the result now how we so this is one observation that we have made also we can see at the end this is the expected output where we have made the number all the numbers as same so this is one of our observation okay now let's say if the sum of the elements at the beginning is s okay then what we can say so and here we are incrementing one here we are incrementing one for each of the elements so how many values are getting change in each iteration n minus 1 values out of n okay one is, this one is incremented to 1 this one is incremented to 1 so if there are total n numbers in this array only n minus 1 are changed in this also n minus 1s are changed n minus 1 are changed okay okay so we have initial value of the sum as s and for each iteration we are Incrementing the array by n minus one 
1 plus 1 so n minus 1 times we are doing that so here that is equal to 2 this is 2 and this is 2 So this is 2 and when we are changing it this particular values we are updating to 2 to 2 to in each iteration so one first iteration second iteration and third iteration so three iterations we did and we are incrementing each value at 3 so initially our sum was 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 and at the end we have 12 so how we did so initial was 6 then 2 was multiplied by 3 times so which made it to 12 ok so this is one calculation we can see so let's translate it to our uh, logic let's say the sum was s and each iteration we are incrementing the number n minus 1 numbers and how many times we are incrementing so let's say this is the output that we have to find out so let's say m times we are making that change so which will become m minus n minus s multiplied by m minus 1 n minus 1 times we are multiplying so for an m iterations we are doing so m multiplied by n minus 1 we can say is the same calculation so if we write it like this so let me just uh, change it little bit so that there will be no confusion n n is here so n minus 1 multiplied by number of times so number of times is n and at the end we are getting 12 ok so if we name this particular value final value as x and we, are, we know that uh, total number of elements are n then this whole sum will become x multiplied by n so this is one of the equation that we found from our observation now let's think further so here we can see the minimum value which is 1 when we started this calculation till the end which is 4 so what is the relation here if we ask ourselves so in order to reach x we have to add to the minimum value number of times we have incremented that particular value in uh, or we can say the number of time we have done that iteration so which is nothing but n and this value we have to find out okay now let's try to solve this equation these two equations which we will become and we will just substitute this value of x over here ok now uh, let's multiply so this will become n times m then m and this will be minimum multiplied by n then m multiplied by n so n times m this one can cancel we can cancel it and we can take the value of m to here and we can take this value here so this will become a minimum times of n n so this is the number of moves that we have to take so what it is saying if we translate it to english so a minimum number of times that you have to if you are trying to find the minimum number of times where you have to increment 1 for the n minus 1 elements in an array that you have to do to, is to take the initial sum and from that sum so you can subtract the minimum value multiplied by the total number of elements present in the array so this is the result that we have got from our observation and calculations okay so I think this is uh, clear now we have taken example side by side we have calculated the equation we have reduced that equation 
and we have translated and solved for m now we just need to simply say and it we have to just simply convert it to our code let's try to code it so let's declare the initial sum as uh, how we can say okay let's say s only so that our calculation will be easy now let's say initial sum was 0 and okay let me keep it open so that you can okay will it become cumbersome okay, let's just take the final result and let's delete everything else We will use the same result in order to solve our equation. So these equations we don't need right now. Let's take this calculation till here. And this final result we can let's keep it so that we can code easily. Okay, so S was the total initial sum. So let's keep it as zero and the minimum value we can say in min well so which is nothing but the m which are which is in this formula and let's initialize this to max element and after that what we can do we can just simply iterate over the elements of the array and we can find out the total sum and put it in the variable s so we can say we will iterate and we will increment each element by one and then we can calculate the total sum by adding the values at that particular location in the array so once we have done that what we can do we have to find out the minimum value also so we will just see the minimum value when we are trying to iterate whether we are finding any minimum value then the so this is the current value and we are iterating over the number of we are iterating over the element of an array so if we are encountering any element which is minimum that the number that is stored here then we will just update it once we have done that part we can simply uh, write down our formula to return the output which will be the sum that we have calculated here subtracting the values of the minim minimum value that we have calculated multiplied by the total number of elements in the array which will nothing but be uh, not the array the vector so we will just take the size and I, let's run it so it is getting accepted let's try to submit this as well and it is getting accepted Okay, now let's try to solve the same question let's try to just i'll just change it and i'll solve it in java also let's copy this part so here nothing will change much few things we have to change so instead of this we have to use Teacher dot max value so this will also change since it's an array we just need to use the length and sum will remain same minimum value how we are calculating we just need to add math dot minimum value and rest is same let's run it 
okay so we are finding some issue okay uh, so here we are not changed it let's change it to length so it is accepted let's submit it okay now let's solve this in python as well So in python we can simply write this in a single line we just need to calculate uh, the values for the sum so for that we can write simply sum of the elements which is nothing but uh, here we are calculating the sum of the list so we have put it so we have put like nums sum of nums and we can subtract the from the total sum we just need to subtract the values of the minimum value multiplied by the length so minimum value how we will calculate for a list we'll put min and we'll put the list and then multiply by the size of that list that is given to us so we will calculate length of the nums let's run it so it is getting accepted and let's submit it so it is accepted so i hope uh, explanation part is clear on this one and the code files is also clear so do like share if you find this video insightful do like share and subscribe and share it with your friends thank you for watching